Today we're going to be making a very simple chocolate ganache but with one important change. Instead of using 35% cream as we usually do, which is also called whipping cream or whipped cream, and it contains 35% milk fat, we're going to be using a 10% cream today. In the last six months alone, I am sure I have had over a hundred questions asking me what other type of cream I can use other than a whipping cream which is rated at 35% milk fat. This cream that I'm using today is 10% milk fat and is usually used in your coffee. Because this cream is not as thick as whipping cream, I'm only using half the amount. Here I have a half a cup of chocolate chips, but we have reduced our cream by half, so I'm only using a quarter cup of 10% cream. So now that I've taken a couple of seconds to explain this, let's get on with the simple recipe. So I'm going to change up the technique a little bit and we're going to heat our chocolate instead of the cream. So I'm going to get that half cup of chocolate chips into my bowl and now I'm going to microwave this until it's melted on the defrost mode. So I've microwaved my chocolate chips and at this point they don't look like they're completely melted but if I grab a spoon you can see that all of a sudden it just starts turning into a chocolate, you know, nice uniform consistency. So I'm just going to mix that around so you can see really, really nice. Then we're going to add our cream to the chocolate. We'll get that in there. And then we're going to slowly start incorporating the two. So at first it's going to look like it's not going to work but a little bit of time and patience and everything's going to start coming together. You can see the cream now is starting to look like a chocolate milk. I'm going to just slowly, slowly incorporate both of these ingredients together. Now the cream was cold so the temperature of the chocolate has dropped drastically. So I am going to have to introduce a little bit more heat into this mixture. So that means I will be putting it back into the microwave just to give it a little bit more heat. Always on the defrost mode. So to stir here I'm just using the back of my spoon and just a little bit of a movement here. And you can see now it's all coming together. But you can see it's a little bit lumpy still because the chocolate has not completely melted and that cold cream is kind of seizing it up. It's trying to make the chocolate firm again. So at this point, I'm just going to pop this into my microwave for about 15 seconds, defrost mode. So that was 15 seconds in my microwave, defrost mode. And now you can see right away, as soon as I start stirring, you can see that the, the whole mixture is a lot more fluid. Not sure if the camera's picking that up. But at this point, you want to just keep mixing. Now could you use a larger bowl? Of course. And can you use a little whisk? That would be even be better. And you could also use an electric mixer just to whip it around a little bit. Good. So that looks really nice, like that. I think I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see the mixture a little bit better. So I just zoomed in and hopefully you can see how nice this is. If I can tilt it up a little bit. Is that good like that? Can you see that? I'll bring it a little higher really really nice and this is perfect right now to pour over a cake so I think what I'm going to do now I'll just set up with a little piece of parchment paper and we're going to put a little dab on the parchment paper and then I'm going to chill it down just to show you about how firm this can get when it's cold so what I'm going to do here I'm just going to give it a little stir and then we're just going to take some of this 
I'll put it on a little piece of parchment paper. And just to make things really fast, I'm going to pop this into the freezer. I guess I'll time it to, you know, to know exactly how long it was and then I'll come back and I'll show you how firm this can become. So this here is 15 minutes in the freezer. So our chocolate ganache with our 10% cream in the freezer, 15 minutes. So I'll just get a knife here and I just want to show you how it looks and how it behaves. You can see that it's quite firm. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. And if we do a little bend test, just to show you here, where are we? Okay. You can see it's very, very firm. Look as I bend it. So you can see even with that 10% cream, it makes a very, very nice chocolate ganache. And this would be good in chocolate truffles as well. You can actually form this. It's solid enough to do that. So there we have it. Now that I've shown you how the chocolate ganache firms up when it's cold, I'll just show it to you again at room temperature. And that's a really, really nice chocolate ganache. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it answers a lot of questions about using a 10% cream in a chocolate ganache versus a very much higher fat cream like a whipping cream like you usually see me do. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish. I really do appreciate that. That's it and I'll see you next time.